So we are starting a new series on this channel, and it's going to be called Faust Fridays. I know it's super, uh, super unique name, very cool name, not really. But anyways, uh, I thought that I would cover Tim Vigil because, uh, and his most known work, Faust, because I'm a huge Tim Vigil fan, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos. If you have not, and this is your first video, I am a huge fan of Tim Vigil, and welcome. Um, what is there to say about Faust? Gory, a lot of sex, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much every, it ticks off every box that, you know, you could have for an edgy book, but it's but it does it right. It doesn't do it poorly. It does it very well, and it's beautifully drawn by Tim Vigil who, as you can see, is a great artist. I have the older version. So, uh, and I think the the writer is David Quinn, I believe. But I'm, I'm, I'm no offense, Mr. Quinn, but uh, I am here for Tim Vigil. So we are going to start out with uh, a gory piece. I mean, it, it starts out gory. And what else would you expect from uh, Tim Vigil? One of the best. I'm pretty sure something is going through that guy's eye. Can't tell if it's his, if it's Faust's uh, claws or not. So I know Faust is one of those characters that people go, oh, it's just a knockoff, like Wolverine. No, not even close. Uh, I think Faust is a fucking cool character, but I am, uh, you know, a biased party because I am a huge Tim Vigil fan. When I look at Tim Vigil's work, I think to myself. This is somebody who understood Bern Hogarth beautifully and then mastered George Bridgman because he has elements of both of them, but all the good elements, and just understood it. Tim Vigil was made to draw comics. There's no question about it. So anyways, we got some gore. We're going to probably have some sex in here, but... Uh, what a great looking comic. So much detail, so much great ink. Tim Vigil's doing all the legwork here on the art. Oh, and here we go. We have our sex here because you cannot have a Faust comic without sex. Let me tell you something. This is actually pretty light for what goes on in the future. Great stuff. I love that. I love it. Again, I'm a sucker for perspective. I'm a sucker for great figure drawing. I'm a sucker for great inking. I'm a sucker for great lighting. I'm just a sucker for all that stuff. And man, what an amazing perspective job there. So our two characters are clearly fucking. Uh, I love this piece right here. These, the, the, I don't know where the scapula begins. I don't know where the muscles start. I don't know, but it looks so fucking good. It looks amazing. The anatomy is amazing. And I look at that and I go, there, he had to have been, a, a, he had to have learned from Bern Hogarth. There's no way he didn't. And the thing that I love about Tim Vigil is, is he's a guy who could absolutely have worked in mainstream comics. And it makes me so sad that he didn't. And I don't know. I, I, I guess it's cool that he did his own thing, but it's like, how crazy would it have been to see Tim Vigil do Daredevil? It would have been amazing. But it, that's not his bag. That's not what he's into. Anyways, they blow that dude away. Because, I guess because sex is dirty. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I love the uh, the reflection there on the sunglasses. This is very cool because it's just a bunch of uh, shout outs to Tim Vigil's probably the the artists that inspired him. Will Eisner, Michael Golden, uh, Steve Ditko, Howard Chaikin, John Buscema, Gil Kane. Very cool. Very cool shout out. I like it when, I, when, when somebody kind of shouts out their inspirations. Who inspired them? Because, you know, that's your way to find out about the artist. You go, oh, okay, he's, he's a Gil Kane fan. He's a Steve Ditko fan. Okay, now I know who to study. 
I want to look like Tim Vigil. And obviously, you got to work very, very hard. And even then, you probably are not going to look that good. But uh, you can try for sure, and I try every single day. I love I the thing that I love the most about Tim Vigil stuff is it, it, the proportion is so odd, but I love odd proportion. I love it when heads are bigger than they're supposed to be, you know. And I love it when arms are slightly well. Sometimes I like I like it when the arms are very long, and sometimes I like it when the arms are very short. And I just like I like people who use a different proportion, you know, uh, kind of you use different proportion than what's you know. When, when you open up a, a anatomy book and they go, your hands have to go below here. and It's just, I don't know, it's just not fun and it kind of makes everything look, you know, too samey. But uh, Tim Vigil stuff looks very different than anything that I have seen. Yeah, I love that. You know, this was the time of kind of like caliber comics like uh, like The Crow, stuff like that, so... So if you're looking for gore, you're looking for sex, man, this is the series you should be checking out. And uh, I'm going to be covering them all. Well, not all of them. I'm going to be covering up to, I think, issue... I think I've up to issue 11 or 10. I'm not entirely sure. The later issues are extremely expensive, probably because they're such a low print run. But, uh, yeah. I love that shattered glass coming through the uh, windshield. Great stuff. And our boy Faustier, he's not a hero. He's not. Or is he? Who knows? I love the the forms, like the the nose, like the ridge of the or the ridge of the nose, just very cool stuff. It's like he wanted to draw Batman, but it was like, eh, nobody's ever gonna put me on a Batman book because I would have Batman. Like killing people. How about how can I draw Batman when I want to draw you know my character killing people, you know? Love that. And then we end it with a great piece here. So yeah, I'm gonna be covering every issue of Faust that I own, which I think is the first 11, 10 or 11 issues, and uh, it's gonna be a series for the next however many weeks, 10 weeks probably, if, if my math is correct. Um, I'm just gonna cover kind of Faust by Tim Vigil on Fridays, because I am a huge Tim Vigil fan, and I'm a huge Faust fan, and uh, it's cool when you kind of get comic books out there to, to, you know, readers who kind of read the mainstream stuff and kind of want something a little bit different. I know that when I wanted to start drawing, it was very difficult for me to find an artist that made me go, oh, I would I would love to draw like them. Because I was looking at sort of just like the mainstream guys. And there's nothing wrong with the mainstream guys. There's a lot of great mainstream guys. But when you start going into kind of that bottom of the barrel stuff that people don't talk about and people don't know about. And thanks, you know, to channels like Cartoonist Kayfabe for kind of bringing these books to the attention and you start seeing like okay let's look at comics that are outside of the house style and you get stuff like this and you look at stuff like this and you go oh man i want to draw like that and that's great i mean if you can get inspired by anything i don't know somebody may may look at this video and go holy shit i i i've been struggling with that too like what i, I i've been trying to find an artist i want to draw like and it's like yeah i love john bishama and i love john ramita but you know, I don't want to draw exactly like John Romita or John and or John Bishama, right? And the great thing about being an artist is, is you can take all these different artists and you can make yourself your own artist and you can kind of take bits and pieces. I'm just more attracted to things that are a little bit off and things that are, are not... Like the standards... I wouldn't say the standards are lower... But the attention to detail is kind of spent on other things as opposed to kind of making, I don't know, it feels like there's like a freestyle going on here, even though it's it's very well thought out. It's hard to explain. It's just that, you know, it's just stuff that you don't see in mainstream comics, and I think mainstream comic book, you know, editors would turn... God, I'm not interested in this. This doesn't. This this wouldn't work for our main for our audience. 
So you get stuff like Faust. So anyways, that's Faust. I know I rambled at the end by Tim Vigil. And uh, next week, I will be covering issue two. So thanks. <laughs>